right, everyone, we're about to go inside of the abandoned amusement park. Mar, are you ready? Dude, I'm born ready. Oh, yo, Mo! Yo, come see the swing! Quick, quick, run, run! Bro, holy shit, look at this! What should we ask her? What's up everyone? I'm Aldo's World. And I'm Osarji. Hey guys, I'm Chris. And today we're gonna be spending a 24 hour challenge at the Lake Shawnee Abandoned Amusement Park. A lot of people has tried to survive the night at Lake Shawnee. It's been 24 hours. Most do not make it. So I'll be surprised if these guys make it. Abandoned Lake Shawnee Amusement Park that's sure to send shivers down your spine. Three of the clay children were brutally murdered by Native Americans. A little girl in a pink dress is seen swinging on the swing and the man with a mustache who's seen on the Ferris wheel. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video. This one is gonna be insane. Subscribe to my channel. Turn the post notification bell on so when I upload more videos, you don't miss out. This is one of the videos from the Deep in Appalachia series. So stick around for every single video. Here we go. Overnight challenge, the 24 hour overnight challenge. A lady calls us up. She said she was here doing the digs when they was doing the Native American burial ground digs. And the one she was digging on was a 14 year old girl and she died from giving birth. Mm -hmm. We said we have that photo. Damn, that's the girl's bones right there. Yeah, cool. yep, so you can see the baby beside her. Guys, we can't show you the rest of it. He said you're gonna have to come and see it for yourself, but long story short, they found thousands of bodies in this place. He said over 3,000 people passed away and they found bones and stuff like that. And that girl who passed away with her daughter, they found her bones as well. That's just one of the many cases that they found here. So this theme park, you actually can't just get to it. There's like a hidden road you have to go through to get there. So our friend Chris, he's taking us there. Wait a minute. An abandoned theme park right behind the bushes? Oh no, this is an ambush, isn't it? All right, everyone, we're about to go inside of the abandoned amusement park. Mar, are you ready? Dude, I'm born ready. I Let's can't. do this. Yo, we haven't done a 24 hour challenge like this in a really long time. Dude, we're, but do we're doing a 24 hour challenge in a place where there's thousands of bodies. Literally, we're driving thousands, on them Thousands, right and they literally found bones too. Yeah. Like, he says a lot of haunted stuff that he wouldn't tell us until we were actually inside. We're inside, so it's time to hear these stories and how we're gonna spend the night here. First thing I'm noticing about this abandoned amusement park is there is a school bus? What? Yo, for all of you OG fans, you know how many crazy videos we've done at the other abandoned school bus back in Ottawa in the abandoned cornfield. If you remember that, comment down below. Seeing an abandoned school bus brings so many memories. Holy crap, look at this school bus. Yo, this is a legit school bus. Oh, that is a huge hornet. Okay, say less. I'm getting out of here. This is a really cool school bus. By the way guys, if you like theme parks and amusement parks, make sure you go and get your very own 24 hour overnight challenge amusement park shirt from my store, aldosworld.store. This shirt was inspired by when we went to Universal Studios. You know, you see the Ferris wheel here. So you roll across it right there. So if you like that, go and get it from my store, aldosworld.store. Take a photo of yourself wearing the merch, send it to me, and I'll feature you in the next video. Little girl's riding a swing. A soda delivery truck's delivering so the concession stand nearby. As it goes to leave, it backs up in the path of the swing. And as the swing comes around, she hits the back of the truck and it kills her. Damn. So according to the paranormal investigator, she hangs out where the swing used to be. Over there. She hangs out where the swing is now. Swing down there. According to the paranormal investigator, she can move back and forth through the park. She's not bound to a certain area. She's not even bound to this park. What? They talk about portals being here. They can come and go as they please. What about that school bus? Does she go in the school bus too? Well, there's another thing that's in inside the school bus. I think the girls hang out around the swing, the boys hang out around the school bus and the ticket booth. Guys, we'll save that for later. Hey guys, this is where he said the girl got hit, somewhere around here. Now Chris is gonna take us to the other side of the abandoned amusement park. Let's go. <laughs> guys, check out this lake right here. So Chris was telling us earlier off camera that he thinks that some people may have even drowned in the lake. Guys, here it is, the Ferris wheel. The abandoned Ferris wheel, check this thing out. 
Damn, this is the most abandoned Ferris wheel I've ever seen. I guess what we'll do is we'll put our tent right over here and we'll see if we can catch anything because there's a lot of paranormal and haunted history around here. People drowning in the lakes. School bus, he said there was kids that run around there. We'll probably catch something spooky on our cameras. All right, everyone, so I just got real close to the Ferris wheel. Check this thing out. Damn. Damn, what the hell? Look at him. Ben Ferris wheel. Should I climb it, guys? I'm gonna challenge at an abandoned amusement park. I guess sometimes this is what it looks like. Hey, look, there's a toy down there. It's weird. What the hell? There's a toy. You can actually go inside. Kind of. I guess we'll come back here at night and go inside. So, 10 right there. An apparition. I guess we'll try that tonight. We'll take some photos, see if we catch anything. Apparently, a police officer has like a photo of an apparition on that. Guys, this thing is literally spinning right here all by itself. Look at that. Oh my god, what the? He was just telling us earlier that if this bag spins in a circle like this, that means the girl is telling you that she's here and she wants to play. If it just goes back and forth like this, it means no. And if it goes like this, then yes. But this thing is spinning in circles all by itself, like crazy spinning. You guys see that? That means she's here. Or maybe there was something heavy inside causing it to spin. I wasn't too convinced just yet, but I guess I'll keep an open mind. Guys, he was just telling us this story. Apparently there it was one time where he was almost done his shift and then he just sees a random man standing over there staring at him. And then he's like, damn, like, am I in danger? Like, who's this random man on this property? It should be just me here, right? So then he goes up to him and the man's just like staring over him. And he's like, yo, what are you looking at? And he's like, yo, I see some orbs on top of your head. And then he's like, damn, okay, hopefully they're good orbs. And then he was like, hey, can you please show me the swing? So he's like, all right. So the guy comes, he runs around this thing maybe 15 times and then goes and randomly stops right at one of these swings. By the way, these swings, this is giving me eerie vibes. Check this out, super eerie vibes. Look at this. So creepy and there's all these toys here too and stuff like that so anyway so the guy said went around a bunch of times this ran around 15 times 15 times and then suddenly the, go the man goes and he just stops right here and he sits down and then chris was like hey why'd you sit down here and he was like well the little girl told me to sit here and then chris told him hey actually that's where the little girl actually passed away and he's like i know some really creepy stuff guys so there's a lot of haunted history here we're gonna stay here all day all night 24 hours until we catch something on our camera so far we caught that thing spinning which means that the little girl is around here and she's playing according to our guide chris but man this is one of the most legit abandoned theme parks i've ever seen apparently national geographic and all these other massive TV shows that I want to come here because remember there were thousands of bodies that died here a lot of haunted history here so this is the monument for the Mitchell Clay family now whenever you come you can go the creepy trail if you want I don't go the creepy trail creepy trail down there yeah creepy trails that way I mean, it can't be that creepy. Why, why, is it, why don't you go on the creepy trail? Oh, you'll find out. You go. Okay, all right. Guys, it looks like we're going to have to come back there tonight. 1966. The mother drops her son off that morning. She returns in time for the lifeguard to blow the 5 o'clock whistle. Her son's nowhere to be found. She thinks he walked home. She goes to the house. He's not there. She comes back to Lake Shawnee. They find him at 7 p.m. that night in the bottom of the pond with his arms stuck in a drain pipe. Oh, my God. This pond right here? This pond right here. This is a semen swimming pond. Now, according to some of the paranormal investigators it comes, they say he hangs out at the front gate out there where you guys came in, where the clown's mouth is. They think it's cute that this kid has took it up on himself keeping this park safe, but he watches <laughs> everybody coming and going. He makes sure everybody stays safe. Well, I guess we'll find out tonight, huh? There you go. This is where you said the guy came in, he like flew into the sky or something? Yeah, out of the back of the ticket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so apparently the guy I was telling us before who went and sat beside the swing, he like walked into here and then something made him fly up or something. Let's try see if it happens to me. Make me fly! If there's anything in here, make me fly! Make me fly! Okay, no flying. Maybe that's a good thing. About four years ago, while they're here, they said, hey, we was here in the 80s. I asked them to send me pictures. Yo, what the hell? He, this is what he said on the tour. Bro, the that girl, thing is swinging by itself. The girl that died on the swing, a girl died on the swing, by the way. She moves this bag. There's no wind. Look. Nothing. You can't see anything else blowing except the bag that the girl touches, apparently. It's really aggressively moving. Look at it. Oh, what the hell? That it's doing it! It's going like this! That means she's here playing Whoa! right now. Oh! What the hell? Dude! Dude, let's run around. See if we... Hey! 
Girl, where are you? Are you here? No, girl. Give us a sign. I mean, that already is a sign. Little girl, make something fall off. Dude, if it was windy, you would hear the wind on camera, right? Yeah. Around. Little girl. We know she's here because of this. Dude, that's creepy. It's Look at moving. How it stopped now. Dude, it's, oh. mo it's moving so aggressively too. Okay, so one thing he didn't show us on camera, there is a weird looking... You know what it actually looks like? I'm gonna be honest, not to promote my own merch here, but this literally looks like the road trip merch that I have. You guys remember that shirt that I made where it's like a road trip? Isn't this the exact same little bus from my road trip merch? What? That's literally it. What the hell? That is so cool. I've never actually seen these in, in person. This is exactly from my merch, which is hilarious, to be fully honest. Damn. Hello, is anyone in here? He didn't tell us a story about this. Hello. Oh, all I see is a massive spider right there. I guess we can also probably stay in here if the, if the spider allows us. Hey, Mr. Spider, you think we can uh, sleep in here tonight? Possibly. There's a bunch of places that we can stay overnight. Look, I'm going to be real with you, okay? Once you're actually trying to go to bed, I don't know about you, but I have a hard time falling asleep when I know there's danger in the area. Like, I'm going to tell you something. Guys, can I be vulnerable with you? Ever since we've been traveling, even when we're sleeping at a non-haunted, completely normal Airbnb, things have been happening to us. And it's been stopping me from falling asleep. So can you imagine an actual abandoned amusement park where over 3,000 people have died let me tell you what happened to us on the first night of our airbnb mo and i we had these rooms right and in our rooms let's just pretend you're in a bedroom and then over here there's like those big ac things that turned on and on well around 2 a.m and we weren't filming my ac turned on like randomly and i woke up to doo -doo 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 -doo, and i was like what the hell is going on and then i was like, all right it's nothing i went to bed later on i woke up and it was beeping again remember this ac thing that was Dude, that was terrifying there was somebody walking in my bedroom at nighttime and then the air conditioning starts going off and on off and on that happened to you too yeah it was happening to me and it happened me so many times i was getting nightmares we didn't film any of this so i was just telling them that that airbnb is technically not haunted and we weren't even able to really fall asleep how the hell are we gonna fall asleep here i don't know i don't think any sleeping is gonna happen here i think we're gonna run away scared today yeah. I, don't, I don't believe in us today i don't know <laughs> that's why we're kind of tired too <laughs> from not getting sleep but we're gonna try our best just for you guys so can you make this spin please spinning wheel are you with us we want to prove to everyone that you're real make this thing spin well, you know what's cool is that it's not doing it now, but we're gonna be here all night, so it could do it at nighttime. Right? Yeah, that's true. Maybe whatever is making it is all the way at the swings playing around, like the girl. I want to see how he how tough this is. Oh, dude, look at how rusty it is. So for this thing to spin, it's gonna need a lot of force. Not really moving. Okay. All, all right. right. So okay, cool. So here's the thing with this shack over here. I haven't been inside of it. There's a story of a guy that was here, some random guy that just showed up out of nowhere. And he walked in. Guys, so one of the stories that he was also telling us was that in around the 1930s, there was an old man and this place used to be bustling. Okay, there was slides and he slid down, he cracked his skull and passed away inside of the lake. This was in the 1930s. And then many years later, there was also a child who was dead here. And because the water is so murky, someone was walking in the lake and they accidentally kicked it with their leg. And they're like, oh my God. And when they grabbed it out, it was a dead body. So a lot of haunted stuff here in the Appalachia. Our goal is to document it. All right, we're not making any of this up. This isn't like some kind of skit or like whatever. This is like the real deal. We're documenting it for you guys. Again, we drove all the way from Canada, just to Appalachia for you guys. So hope you're enjoying it. Appalachia rocks. It really does. It's beautiful out here, but it's got some crazy history mm -hmm. so it's, mo it's moving it's moving bro i just said i bet you can't do it and it moved can you can you make it move a little harder than that please look look see it's moving it yeah i don't think the camera's picking up on it but it's definitely moving it's gonna it's, gonna look, look, it's moving it's moving push can, the spinning wheel push it harder please we, we you need to try harder please i don't think you have it in you to do it to be honest oh oh Oh, you see, it's moving it. It's going come on, come on. Going left and right, dude. One for, give us a full circle. Come on, please. Full spin, please. Full spin, please. Bro, this is still, it's oh, it's moving. It's trying, come on. Move it. Come on, give us a full spin. I just want to show you guys, there's literally nothing. Nope, no ropes, nothing. Robes, nothing. No, no, We're just still there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God. Come on, give us a full spin. Give us spin, a full spin. Spin, 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 spin. spin. It's trying. It's really trying. Dude, there's something actually here. There's no way. Spin it. 
All the way. Give us a full spin. Come on. We know you got it in you. If if we come back later tonight, will you spin it fully? Do you want us to leave? Spin it all the way. We'll leave. We won't come back. Man, that's crazy. It was doing it. How about you do it some more? I mean, at least we made it move a little. We? Who's this we you're talking about? Like we, like, we asked it to move and then, yeah. like, you know, yeah. it moved it. There's no we here. It's doing it. Can you make it spin? I don't think you have the energy, actually. Yeah, you're right. You know, I think I'm right. You don't have the energy to spin this all the way. You're just a tired old, tired old ghost. You're a tired old ghost. You don't have the energy to do it. Hey, if you make this spin fully, uh, our fans are gonna get a hundred thousand likes on this video for us. Yeah. Hundred thousand likes for a full spin. I'll give you a cookie for a full spin. We were desperate, but there was no spinning happening. We got a little bit. I'm sure the camera captured a little bit. See, right now, look, it's not moving at all. When you said, "Oh, I bet you can't do it," it really did move a little. Yep. So at least we caught that on camera. We're get it 100 Look, it's not moving at all anymore. All right. Well. At least we got something, right? Yep. Later that same evening. All right, so I just posted a video on my Snapchat and we just caught something literally whistling at me. Anyways, guys, make sure you go follow me on Snapchat and Instagram if you want to see the behind the scenes. I post snaps and Instagrams like way before I post the actual full YouTube video. So if you want to see behind the scenes, then go follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. All right, everyone, welcome back to the abandoned amusement park. It is getting late now and we're going to begin the investigation portion of this video. Our friend Chris told us so many haunted things have happened and now it's up to me and over here to start investigating dude do you do you realize how serious this is right now chris has gone home he's left this entire place to us with all the spirits and the coyotes in the background this is legit dangerous and so many apparitions have been witnessed here so many tv shows want the pictures that this guy took that we weren't even able to show you guys half of it on camera this is travel channel's top 10 most haunted places in the world and we're doing it just for you guys us two only Bro, it looks like something's in the water swimming. Here is the tent that I'm most set up. Pretty freaking creepy if you ask me. Well, there's a ferris wheel right there. Here is the swing. Oh my god. Oh man, this thing is so creepy. Look at this thing. Holy crap. Apparently this swing, there was like a girl who plays with the swing here. So we're gonna try to communicate with her as well. Hey little girl, are you here? Little bird. Hey, let's show them how that bag is not moving now. Oh, what the hell? It's not windy. It's not. Yeah, remember it was spinning like clockwise last time? Now it's not moving at all. Hey, if there are any spirits attached to this bag, or this swing in particular, can you make it move? Is it turning? Wait, it's turning a little. It's starting to move a little. It's Holy starting, God. bro, it wasn't moving the whole time. Yeah. Now, as soon as you ask that, it's starting to move. So, for the record, a little girl did die here. There is an article about this. Oh, oh yo, the swings are starting to move. Just ask if there's any little girls connected to this swing and it started to move. What the hell? How are they moving? What the hell? Yo, they're all moving. Oh shit, you're right. They're, they're all, all moving. moving. Yo, guys, all these swings are starting to move. How the hell are they all moving? Yo, let's circle around. Let's circle around. Okay. Guys, all the swings just started to move. That is freaking creepy. As soon as he start asking. Oh, yo, Mo! Yo, come see the swing! Quick, quick, run, run! Bro, holy shit, look at this! Bro! Bro, it looks like something is on it right now, swinging! Like, the way it's moving, it's moving with momentum! What the hell? Hey, can you make this move clockwise or counterclockwise? Do you have the energy to do that? Bro, look, all the other swings are moving too. Guys, while I was editing, I noticed the creepiest thing. There is a face of an old man and a woman with a cloak. So here is the old man right here. You guys can see that. There is his beard. You can see his hair. You can see his face very, very clearly. Now I'm going to show you the woman's cloak. Here's the woman's cloak right around it. And now if you look closely, you can actually see two white eyes. There's the first white eye. If you look a little above where I just marked. And right there, there's a second white eye. Do you guys see that? There's a cloak, a face of a woman or something with with two white eyes and right on top of it there's a face of an old man with a beard and hair you guys can clearly see the old man 
This one's moving too. What the hell? I can't believe we're catching this. Yeah. What? All right, let's let's pay attention. Let's make sure there's no other girl. Bro, I can't believe we just caught that. Little girl, is that you? What should we ask her? Can you stop doing that? Can you get off the swing for us? Bro, this is so weird. This is the weirdest thing because remember during the day, they weren't moving at all. No. And like, it just started happening as I said, can, are you attached to the swing? I was trying to talk to on the necrophonic. Let's see if the necrophonic tells us anything right now. This is hella creepy. Hella, hella creepy. Who's here? <laughs> me. I heard a me. Doesn't look like she wants to stop though. Oh, little girl. Oh. Who are you? Yo, it's spinning counterclockwise now. No way. Yeah, it's going in circles now. Yo, yo, remember what he said? If it goes in circles, that means she's here playing. Little girl, are you here to play with us? Sorry about the trucks and the distance, guys. Um, there's a street back there and... Bro, this Appalachia abandoned amusement park is so haunted. I can't believe this. Yo, we're not sleeping tonight. Let's we be real. And the swing's just moving. What the hell? I wonder if there's another swing that's moving. Surprisingly, the one that she died on is not moving at all. Right? It's the only one that's still. But it did move at one point, too. Yeah, and this thing was like spinning so much earlier in the day and now it's not. I guess she's playing over there, which makes sense. I can't believe we caught that. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Guys, we literally just started filming. I can't believe we're catching this. Oh my God, yo. Right as Mo was saying, hey little girl, are you here? The swings started moving. Dude, are you okay? Yo, I felt like something went up my nose. Bro. Not a bug, like something went up my nose. Bro, maybe it's the little girl. Maybe she wants us to leave. Okay, well, we already got something here. Uh, why don't we keep looking around and see what else we can catch? Yo, Mo! Did you hear that? The what? I just heard a chain. I was filming some b-roll shots here and I swear to God, I just heard a chain like rattle. Hey, little girl, give us a rattle or something. I would cry. But for some reason, we're getting a lot of activity on this freaking thing already. Well, he did say that the girl was literally here, right? Yeah, true, true, true. Well, why don't we keep uh, maybe walking around? Let's go see uh, what well, down there, whatever there was. Was that the trail? Let's go to the trail and see what's up. I hear a man's voice. It's not like a man screaming for help. Bro, I missed it. In the cars. Guys, we just heard someone screaming from a distance, but I wasn't. Well, oh, what the fuck is that? What? That came from back here. Bro, something just came from down here. Hello? Yo, wait a second. I don't think that... Bro, I don't think that ball was there. There, there's a ball on the floor. I was I was listening to the guy. There was a guy screaming. Hey, little girl. Yo, yo, look at the swing in the back. It's starting to move. It's starting to move. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, coyote. Okay, what the hell is going on here? scary, dude. This is getting really intense. Bro, no wonder Chris said I would be surprised if you stay here in the morning. Hey, who's here? Who's messing with us? What the f Show yourself. Where, where did this ball come from? That wasn't on the ground. Right? I don't know. That's the thing that... Was it on one of these swings? No. I think it was on one of the swings. I honestly don't remember. I think it was. I think it was on one of the swings. It doesn't make sense because it's right here, right? If something did throw that because we didn't hear something. Yeah. If something did throw that, I don't want to touch it. No, nah, I don't want to touch it either. If we do touch it, it's going to affect us, right? Yeah, that's true. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. All right, let's keep going. Hello? And anyone in here? Come talk to us. We, we don't want to bite. We just want to capture you on camera. Dude, if we capture an apparition right now, That'd be crazy. Yeah, I mean, we're not leaving anywhere. We're staying here overnight. Guys, Loki, between me and you, this literally looks like a road trip merch. Road trip? Road trip? Yo, Mo, doesn't this look like a fucking road trip bus? Look at this mist. Yo, that's spooky. What the? Oh, damn. Damn, it's so misty. Not from Pokemon. <laughs> Another lame joke by Aldo's World TV. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Holy. Yo, why? Is that even normal? Dude, I don't know. That's so strange. It's like all this weird mist coming out of the lake right now. What the hell? That is weird. They just started happening out of nowhere, too. That's crazy. That is spooky. 
Dude, imagine all that is like spirits. Imagine. <laughs> imagine, screw that. Damn, it's all in the water. Guys, look at that. See if you see anything in the water. No. It's all over the place. What is that? Guys, if you see anything, comment down below. Yo, 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 what the f*** was that? Yo, Mo! Yo, what the hell was that? Bro, something is down there. I swear to God, something just made a noise from down there. What did you hear? I can't exactly explain it, but it was like a movement. Like something is moving down there. I heard it. I wonder if we're being stalked by whatever goes from the Ely Trail, the Creepy Trail. The Creepy Trail is from down there and it goes right behind us. Bro, I 100% heard something. Who's down there? Bro, you know what I just remembered? Remember that guy who said that feral people do exist in the forestry area? Well, there is a trail right down there. There is a chance that someone could be following us, so... Yo, like legit, no joke, keep your eyes peeled. Alright, well, let's keep looking. Yeah, what the hell, man, that was spooky. Please go down near the spindle. Alright, we're back to the spindle, go to the spindle. Is there anything in here? I just heard something coming from down here. Do you now have the energy to make the spindle move? Yes. Yes or no? Make it spin, please, we know you're here. Come on. Guys, notice how it's like not spinning at all? What the hell? What you do? Yo, your ghost meter is dead. Fresh battery. What? I changed that yesterday morning. Oh no. What the hell? Here, I'm gonna turn off my flashlight. Make it spin, please. Can you make the spin or move? Did you make my EMF meter die? Yes or no? Batteries are getting expensive, okay, ghosts? Yeah. Stop draining my damn batteries. Seriously, can you make it spin, please? Why do you always have to go after the expensive batteries? Like, <laughs> brand new Energizer batteries. They're expensive. Stop draining them. Inflation, ghosts. We have inflation nowadays. Have terrible freaking government leaders. That's Can you make the thing move? We, we drove 15 hours to get here, please. We drove 15 hours just to see this yellow thing move. I bet you can't do it. That's oh. probably what it is, right? You don't have the power. Last time you said that, that actually worked. Can you make it move? This just goes to show that earlier when it was moving, like, look how still it is. It's not, like, there's zero movement on it. It might trigger something if you do that. Should I walk into the shack? All right, Moe's gonna come into your shack. You should film from here. Yeah. And I'll, I'll just film from my angle. All right. And then this way you can keep an eye on this thing too. All right. He's coming in. If you don't want him to go on your shack, then uh, stop. Make the thing move. Oh, this feels weird. Oh my God, there's a weird feeling in here. Oh my God, I feel. Oh wow, that's a weird. Well, feeling. don't fall, man. No, actually, like I, I feel weird in here. Say, um, ask if it's in here or something. Is there anything in here, spirits? Can you make the spindle move? I'm gonna try and talk to you on the uh, necrophonic. Spirits, come on, give us some. We came all the way from Canada just to hear. Please. There's the abandoned oh, school bus. Probably can't see it right now. But look at that. There's a there's a Can school you make bus. This yellow spindle wheel. Nothing. Hey, let's move along. Let's go to the happy house. I guess this just goes to show that, like, it's just not moving. Yeah, I just, I just think you don't have the energy to do it. You're tired and lazy, ghost. Yeah. I don't want to be too rude here, but... Oh, well. Well, at least we tried. That I thing is not moving. Down. That thing is not moving, guys. Well, look, to be fair, man, they already made the swing move, and that was pretty creepy on its own. Yeah. You know, this isn't a circus. You can't just expect the ghost to do whatever the you want them we, to do. Yeah, you're right. Like, the fact that we got the swing moving is brilliant. Yeah, seriously. So we got something. There's another spinning wheel on this uh slide oh and they've actually caught a lot of paranormal happenings on the slide before maybe they can make it move yeah like there's no wind out here dude if that thing was to start going off like yeah i'd freak out <laughs> okay well we appreciate the kind gesture wait isn't it uh oh it better not be in the alligators here i thought that's the pond oh oh so you're actually gonna go down the side just want to go down it yeah do it oh my god dude <laughs> nah don't do it you're gonna go straight into this grass and you're gonna get a bunch of ticks no i don't care about ticks you don't no i'm not worried about ticks all right, well. I'm just on top of the world right now. I'm on top of the world. Hi, spirits. I'm on top of the world. Where are you? So this thing is so steep. I'm gonna go down, but there's like a thorny bush here. Dude, I'm actually gonna go down. Are you going down? Yeah, I'm gonna go down. Do it. Ugh. Move these thorns out of the way, though. You guys, look at more. Huh? <laughs> No, I'm just saying, guys, look at Mo. All right, well, you're about to find out whatever is at the bottom of this. I heard there's a pot of gold at the bottom. You ready? <laughs> hey, you want to hold my camera? Yeah, man, sure. <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? <sighs> I haven't been off one of these slides. Dude, this is going to be really fast. You ready? I can't even see where I'm going. I'm just going to slow myself down. All right, I'm going down your slide, spirits. Yeah, I'm getting a wedgie. 
Uh, bro, it's giving me a wedgie. It's giving me the most ultimate wedgie in the world. Oh my god, look at my pants. I'm getting a wedgie. <laughs> A hundred percent, bro. After what happened with that uh, swing down there, I guys, I think we're gonna sleep in the school bus instead. Instead of sleeping at that tent that Mo set up, that was a dumb idea. I think the school bus is a better idea. How's it looking there? Hey, cool. I might take the bottom bunk. Yeah, why not? All right. I might take the bottom bunk. Okay. Oh, I can sleep right here on this couch. I I, I feel like the bunk is better for me. Oh, dude, look at this. What? It's a hand. Oh. What the heck? Okay, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like the bottom bunk is better for me. Okay. You seem like a bottom bank bunk kind of guy. Well, I don't think the top one's gonna support my weight. Okay, well, you go on the bottom bunk, I'll go on this couch right here, and uh, should be a fun time. What do you think? Good idea? All right. I say it's a great idea. Um, I don't want to sleep on top of that other thing anymore because I literally. Oh. What? Some something just something just moved here. Something just moved. Like I just heard metal on the oh, ground. No, no, it didn't touch nothing. I wasn't moving. Something here just made made a sound. So what, we're gonna sleep in a haunted school bus you're saying? I mean, hey, we either sleep in the haunted field with the haunted uh, swing or we sleep in the haunted school bus. You pick. Well, I guess we're doing it. Yeah. I guess we're sleeping on a haunted school bus tonight. Better than the swing, honestly. Of a guy. Are you serious? Yeah. Let's Dude, see it, let's see here, the photo. Let's, let's sit down, let's sit down and review okay, this. Okay, let's have a seat. Guys, so Mo was saying that he was reviewing his footage and he saw like a like some kind of thing fly over his head and then right as soon as that happened, I heard the metal sound, the clink and now Mo was saying that he actually has a photo or something so we're gonna review the photo together. Not too many people have this photo because this place, they don't like sharing photos online of this place. <sighs> they really because don't. Because they want you to come and experience it here for yourself so make sure you guys come and do that. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a photo sent to me by Roger, the owner of this place. Okay. So this is what you guys are seeing on the screen right now is a photo, I'll, I'll give you this photo too. It's a photo of the school bus. Okay. There's a kid here that came in on a tour with his family. This is the kid right here. Okay. But this is a man. And this man was not on the bus with the kid. The kid was all by himself. Oh. So they don't know if this was uh, uh, Chris's brother or just some entity school bus driver. Damn. But what you guys are seeing on the screen is a little boy behind the driver's seat and you're seeing a man in the passenger seat of the school bus standing right there at the end of the couch. So that's probably how that sound happened. There's probably something on here. You're yeah. in here. Right? Hey, whoever's in here, do you give us permission to sleep here the night with you? We're gonna share this space with you. We'll try not to disturb you. The fact that we literally got a picture of a dude on a bus is mind-boggling. And he was saying that it looks like his his brother who, rest in peace, passed away recently. Yeah, and or, like... Not recently. <clears throat> when was it, like seven years ago? Uh, in 2013. Okay. So, here's the thing, though. Off camera, we weren't allowed to show you guys pictures or videos of the paranormal stuff that's happened here because they want us to get our own stuff. But at the same time, they when you come on a tour, they're going to show you stuff you've never seen before. I don't even really want to talk about it because I want you guys to come and experience it for yourself. Mm -hmm. That's why we can't show it. But we've seen so much evidence of paranormal here like it's mind-boggling so okay we need to ask for permission the fuck was that hello who's down there did it sound like somebody was walking in here there was like a bang or something or like a walk are you here with us Okay, you heard that loud, bro. Right? How are we gonna sleep on this bus? Well, bro, it's realistically, I can't even sleep in an Airbnb. You think I'm gonna sleep here? It's true. It's facts. Whenever we, oh, did you hear that? Yes, I heard a whistle. I know me too. A whistle, a whistle in the Appalachian woods, in the mountains, is not a good sign. Oh, yeah. Remember what everyone says online? One of the things we found online is. Do not whistle at night. If you hear a whistle, no, you didn't. And we are in Appalachia. So we, we did not hear a whistle. No, we, we, we did not. I heard nothing. Let's get up. Let's get off this bus right now.